Alright guys, I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last video, but the truth is that I have been quite busy these days as well as I'm about to start my exam period within the next month, so you know, I won't have as much time as I used to to make and edit videos. So I will try to focus on a few ideas I have and I will take it easy. Today the new Grand Prix car has arrived and of course I'm talking about the Maserati MC20 GT2 so I will give you a few insights about it and if it's any worth to go for. So let's get into it. This Grand Prix began the weirdest way possible and I have to say that the recent Grand Prix events are having at least one issue each for a reason I can't fully understand. This time the packs that you could obtain as a reward on the qualifying round were key packs instead of the normal Grand Prix packs which meant that during the first hour of this Grand Prix some people got the chance to lock the car completely for free until you know Gimlot realized and then they changed back the packs to the normal Grand Prix packs we can obtain so it began the best way possible possible for a few guys. Of course I trained my luck but I got absolutely nothing aside from some credits so it is what it is because you know at least I tried. Being completely honest I would like to get this car decal just like I did on the previous Aston Martin Vantage Grand Prix and once again and same as on the previous Grand Prix there aren't any top 1 or top 2 decals on the rewards. You can only get a decal with the number 3 slap into it no matter in which position you end from the top 3 spots of this Grand Prix. So, you know, after seeing this, I thought, why not making it a unique decal without any kind of numbers for each Grand Prix instead of just releasing one decal with the number 3? I honestly don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but I generally think that's a better idea in general. Maybe it's some kind of problem related to the license or something like that, who knows, but one way or another I will try to get the key and hopefully the decal as well. During the last Grand Prix my strategy completely failed and I ended up in a lobby full of aliens but luckily for me one of the players didn't play any of the two last rounds which gave me the opportunity to get the decal at the third position of the group. Not gonna lie, it wasn't funny nor something I will repeat in the future so during this Maserati MC20 GT2 Grand Prix I will take it easy, I will ignore all the advices and I will try to do what it fits the best for my interest and if I end again on tier 1, well, there will be nothing I can do about it, I guess. Okay, but now it's time to talk about this car performance because despite it's not the worst C-Class car, the truth is that it's actually better than a few of the current Elite C-Class cars, it's not a king either, so unless it's required for some kind of clash streets in the future, I see no use of this car really. You might have some fun with it on multiplayer, but that will only be for a few races, you know, until you reach Golden League. This car acceleration is quite nice in general, with a value of almost 84 points without the overclock boost, and the other stats are quite decent as well, so that's why I consider it as a well-rounded car in terms of overall performance. The drift radius is not really bad, but it's far from being the best, since it feels a bit like the Ferrari Daytona SP3, but a bit sharper. Of course, it can be compared to the Porsche Panamera or the Ferrari 599X Evo, if you know what I mean regarding drifting capabilities. I'm maxing out this car, as many of you guys might have guessed, because I needed to get one epic import part from the Lotus ER9 special event in order to gold the Lotus, which, if you got the chance to check my previous video, it's not a king either, pretty much like this car, basically because both of these cars fail terribly when it comes to drifting capabilities. This season isn't being the very best when we check the cars, and I will be honest, my expectations were in the highest ones when I checked the patch notes, even though I had some hopes for the Lotus, but man, I mean, after checking it in deep, it's not as good as the McLaren F1 LM, as I told you all on my previous video, but I think that all these cars will have a purpose in the future, that's why I'm maxing them despite of being not the best by any means. For you all guys, I would recommend to save up in case something truly good comes in the future, or maybe for this summer bars of speed, when I think that Gameloft could release the Bugatti Bolide, which despite is not as good as the Devil 16 or the Hennessy Venom F5, could be a nice addition for a few of you guys, as well as, of course, for me, since I would like to complete my collection at some point in the future. But now it's your turn guys, what do you think about this brand new Maserati MC20 GT2 Grand Prix? Which are your plans about it? Will you try to max it out or will you just try to lock it with the smallest investment possible? Make sure to let me know in the comment section, drop your like and I will see you really soon as usual with much more asphalt content. Goodbye guys!